Hi friends, so today is Wednesday, April 22nd, and we are going to continue today reading the Lion and the Mouse. So yesterday we read the first half of the Lion and the Mouse, and today we are reading the second half of the Lion and the Mouse. So today, if you pull up your assignment, you will notice that we will be reading pages 16 through 24. Now, if you can remember, our focus for this week was central message. And if you remember, central message is the same as theme, moral, or lesson that you will learn in the story. Remember, the story is not going to come out and tell you what it is. You have to you, you have to infer and use your, your prior schema to figure out what the author is trying to tell you. So let's go ahead and read this. And today you're going to have two questions to answer. The mouse soon smelled a delicious fruit and went back to his search for a snack. This time, the mouse kept his eyes open while he followed his nose. Then he heard a strange noise. The mouse went back along the path he had followed. He found the lion trapped in a net. I'll help you, shouted the mouse. The lion barely could hear the mouse's tiny shouts. What can you do, little one? asked the lion. It is better for you to run away before the hunters return and catch you too. So right now we can see that the mouse, he's really trying to be helpful. So that could be a character trait that we could use to describe the mouse. The mouse stayed. He climbed up into the tree and chewed at the net. His teeth were not as large as the lion's, but they were very sharp. In a short while, the lion leaped from the net. Free at last! You were right, my small friend, said the lion humbly. You were able to help me in the moment of need. I owe you my life. Don't worry, your majesty, said the mouse. You have your freedom. You owe me nothing. The king of the forest and his new friend disappeared into the trees together. You didn't think I could help you, the mouse said but an act of kindness is never wasted. So boys and girls, today you are going to have two questions that you are going to answer and submit to Edsby. The first question that I want you to answer when you finish reading the story is, how did the lion change from the beginning to the end of the story? So we see the lion's character change and evolve. How did he change from the beginning to the end? And make sure that you are using text evidence to support your answer. The second question is, what is the central message of the story, The Lion, Lion and the Mouse? So, what was the lesson that you learned in the story or the lion learned? Make sure you're using text evidence and tell me why. Then go ahead and submit those on Edsby. All right, my friends, remember, reach out if you need help. Have a great day.